Hi everyone, Barbara Rankin here with part two of my fall colors acrylic pour from last month. Whenever I think of fall, the first thing that comes to mind are the changing colors of the leaves. These are probably some of my most favorite colors. So I want to try to add some leaves to my background using the same colors and maybe adding some pen work at the end. Since I've never done this before, it should be pretty interesting. First off, here's my canvas all dry. I think it is pretty and I love the colors, but there are some areas that are just large open areas of one single color. I want to try to turn those areas into leaves. So let's get started. First, I am going to drop some small dots of bronze medallion primary elements, followed by Harvest Soul, and then Love Struck, and finally, a little bit of Olive Vine. As you can see, when I added the heavier left struck PE into the puddles, it started to sink, but I'm going to force it back to the surface with a lot of hot air and a straw. But before I get too far, I think I will add a line of the black craft paint mixture to the, to the center of each puddle so that I can have that mixing with the color some. Don't worry if it looks like there's too much black because we can add more of the other colors if needed. I'm simply blowing the colors in the direction I want them to go. Now I am using a coffee stir to spread the black down the middle of the leaves, then once again blowing through the straw. I don't believe there is any right or wrong way to do this. You just do whichever seems to work best. And turn the canvas frequently to get the best angle for spreading the colors. Now I am adding more bronze medallion to lighten the colors and using the straw to blow it around. And now I'm adding a bit more Love Struck PE to bring that beautiful red back to the surface. Now I am using the coffee stirrer again to delineate the outer edges of the leaves. Here is a closer look at these beautiful colors. I will set this aside to dry and then come back and do some outlining to bring these leaves to life. Okay, so my piece is completely dry and I'm going to remove it from the tray here because I'm going to do a little 
what I'll call pen work for lack of a better word. And in this, I have a fine tip applicator here and I've made a mixture of black and I made it a while ago. I think I used China black primary elements with, with the, uh, this is the glazing medium by Color Art. And so what I'm going to try and do is outline the leaves and give them a little bit of um, more definition since I use the same colors in the, um, as in the background. I use the same colors for the leaves as in the background. And so I want to sort of delineate um, the difference between the leaves and the background. And as you can see, it's got a real fine tip here to draw with. And so let me see what I can do here. And I'm just gently squeezing the bottle to allow some of the paint to come out of the tip and just doing a, a rough uh, outline of the leaf shapes. And here I'm using a small brush to kind of smooth out those uh, some of those outlines that I squeezed a little too hard. And now I'm going back and adding a few veins down the center of the, each leaf. And now I'm going to add a few stems from each leaf. So I think I'll sit this aside for a little bit and let that uh, paint dry before I try to add a few more veins. Okay, I think everything is pretty well dry. And I started to um, straighten my lines a little bit. If you feel like some of your lines are a little too shaky, too thin, too thick, you can come back and add or even use the tip to smooth out those lines, make them a little less jiggly. Although it's it's not really bad to have them like that for a leaf because leaf, the edges of leaves are usually sometimes scalloped or pointy, crinkly, whatever. And so I'm just really just kind of straightening them out you don't have to do the whole thing. I just see a few areas that I thought I might straighten out a little bit. If you like it the way it is, go for it. But I just wanted to show you that you can go back and do this again if you need to. Oh, and by the way, I wanted to also point out that that stem that I had drawn down here, I didn't really like too much. And before it dried completely, I was able to scrape it off with a wet, a wet wipe. And um, you could only do that really if your base piece is good and dry and cured because I can scrape this now and nothing's going to come off but the very, 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 very top layer that I have. So uh, I wanted to point out that you can do that. And I just didn't like the way it, it looked. It looked a little funny. Okay. So I think I'll let this dry a few minutes before I come back. I do want to add a few more veins in there. Okay, so now I'm going to try to add a few veins. And I really want to keep these lines as thin as possible. So So basically what I'm doing is after I squeeze a little bit right about here, 
I quit squeezing and I used the tip, the metal tip, to sort of spread it out. Rather than continuously squeezing a, a line of paint. And a quick blast with the heat gun will help speed things along. So let me show you a little closer what we've got so far. So I've just done the veining on one side, on the right side of each leaf. And now I want to come back and do the same thing on the opposite side of each leaf. And here's again a little close-up of the veining of the leaves. It's just a little detail you can add. And that's it for my fall color acrylic pour. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. I hope you will give me a thumbs up if you like the video. I would also love for you to consider subscribing to my channel to see more of my project tutorials. As always, thanks so much for watching and remember to take time to play.